Good morning, everyone. This time we are going to make a simple wooden figure for our models. So let's turn on our new Blender file, delete the default cube, go to the right side, press N, and you can call out this right side panel and turn on Starship Cover UR. This time it's up to you whether to import the reference image or not because I think it's pretty simple. Press 1. So go to the front view, press shift A to go to the image and reference. And this time I want to import probably just the front view will be quite enough. Okay. So this time I'd like to import this reference image and this is a monkey man. And for the monkey head, actually, it's pretty simple. So let's focus on about how to make the body become more realistic. Let's move this one to the center. Press G and X and make this blue line aligns with the blue line inside our models. And also, I think we can enlarge this one. Press S and maybe two size bigger, two times big, two times bigger. All right, and change the opacity, select the image, go to the image property, check the opacity to 0.4. Now it's pretty much finished. And for the side view, I think it doesn't matter. So let's start to do the model. First, let's start to making the body part. Press Shift A, create mesh, cylinder. Because this one looks like a cylinder. We can use this cylinder to do the body. And it's better for us to use in wireframe mode. Click here or just press Z, switch to wireframe mode. All right. So for now, as far as you can see, it's still not in the, located in the center. So let's do that again. G, X, move this one to the center. All right. So now let's use this one as a reference. Let's scale up in the Z direction. Press S and Z and move up, press G and Z and make this one in the right position. Now let's go to edit mode. Press tab or go to the scroll down list. Go to edit mode. Select the upper part, vertex, press S and smaller the upper vertex and for, select the button vertex. Scale up a little bit and also move them down. Press G and Z, move them down. Now I want to create both a round corner for this edge. How can we do that? We can use in Shift Auto key and go to Edge Selections, select this edge and Control B. And increase the number of the edges. Click and it's finished. For the bottom part as well, Click the empty area to deselect all the other things. Hold on Shift Auto key, select the bottom part. Press Ctrl B to get the wrong corner. Now it's pretty much finished. Go to the front view to check the result. It looks okay. So let's press Tab or go to here, press Object Mode, jump out to the Object Mode. Now let's start to model the hand, the and also the leg. For the hand and leg, I think we just need to make one side. For the other side, we can just use a mirror to do that. So let's go to Shift A to create a new curve. This time we are going to use a curve to make our arms and legs. Now you cannot see that because it was flattened. So we have to rotate. Let's rotate in Z directions, R, X, 90 and it will be rotated in the x direction and in 90 degree. Let's rotate again R Y and press 90. Now it looks okay. Go to the front view, press 1, go to the front view and move this one to the side. Press G, move this one here. And now let's go to the edit mode. Press tab, go to edit mode. The Bezier curve is just like the Bezier curve in, in the Illustrator. So there are multiple hands, multiple handles you can do, you can operate. I would, the middle point basically controls 
the positions. For the other two points, it control the degree. So let's move this one first. Press G. Move this one here. And press G, move the button, button point to here. And now we can change the positions of the degree handle. Let's press G, Z. Move this one down. And let's press G. Make the curve follow the curvature of the hand. For now, it looks fine. But this one is just a curve. It's not a solid geometry. How can we give this line some thickness? Let's go to the line object data property here and go to geometries, go to bevel and change the number of dips. And you can get the geometries. And make sure this one is longer so that you can insert this, this line into the body. So I will move this one a little bit. Okay, so for now it looks fine. So let's also click this one so it will help us to fill this part. Now it looks okay. So let's do that again. Let's just copy, jump, press tab, jump out of the edit mode. And let's copy this one, shift D copy this line and using the move tool move this one down and then let's rotate in Z direction R Z 90 degree actually it's negative 90 degree and go to the side view it's supposed to look like a little bended the X so we have to rotate in X direction let's press R X rotate the legs now let's go to tab, edimo, and let's move this vertex. Press G to move this one down. And also, I think for this one, we can do the same thing. We can change the, a little bit about the, deg about the degree. It looks okay. So press tab to jump out of the object mode. Now, we have, I think the legs supposed to be thicker than the arms. So let's go to the geometry and change the number of bevel. Maybe 0.2 would be, be would be better. And let's move this one to the body part. Go to the front view. For now, it looks okay. So now I'd like to add a arm, the hand right here. But before that, I want to transform this curve into real geometry. If you select this one and you press tab, you still only see these handles and that's the handles for curves. Unlike this one, if you press tab, it becomes faces or a vertex you can choose. And but for this one, it's still curved. So we have to transform this one into geometries. How can we do that? Let's select these two curves Hold on your shift key using your right, left mouse button to select the object. Go to object, convert, mesh. Now both of them become geometries. So once you click tab, it becomes geometries. This one as well. So we can start you we can using this one to create our hand. How can we do that? I want to put our hand exactly in the middle, exactly in the center of these faces. So we need to use in cursor to do that. Let's go to edit mode. Select the face, especially for the bottom part. I don't need that part. So hold on your control key to deselect the, all these faces. Press shift and S, cursor to select it. And now it was located in the center. Looks okay. Press tab to jump out of the hand to jump out the arms. Press shift A and I want to create a cube as our hand. So as far as you can see now this cube was located in the center of this of the bottom faces. Press S to scale down. Go to the front view to check the result. Move this one down. And for hand I think it's supposed to be more flattened and longer. So I will press S and X to make this one thinner and also press S and Z to make this one longer. Now it looks okay. Don't forget to freeze the transformation so that 
Go to the item to check that. For now, the scale is a little bit different. Every parameter is a bit messy. So let's pr press Ctrl and A, apply the transformation, set this number to the default setting. And now I want to give this one more detail. So I have to go to Tad mode, edit mode, and using loop cut to cut more edge. Let's select the middle edge and then give this one more. And also for the middle as well. So now I think we have enough faces. Let's do the extrusions. First thing is I want to create the first fingers. So let's go to faces, choose these two faces, and press E for extrusions. And let's do that again. Press E for extrusions. And then press this part. Press E for extrusions. And also here, select these two faces. Press E for extrusion. Once again, press E. And then select the side faces, press E. Okay, it's not a very beautiful, realistic uh, hand, but I think it's more like a low poly or let's say pixelated style of hand. Let's press 1, go to the front view. Probably it's too large. So we can press L to select all of them, press S to smaller the hand. Move this one to the right positions. All right, it's pretty much finished. Let's jump, press tab, jump out the edit mode. So I want to mirror all these things to the to the other side. How can we do that? So first things, let's freeze all these things. Control A and choose apply all transform so that the we have set all the center point to the original point. So now let's duplicate this one. Press Shift D to copy these arms. Press ESC, leave the copied arms in the same position. Go to scale, type in negative one, and we will finish our copy. For the hand as well, press Shift D, copy. ESC, make this one leave in the same position. Press, go to the item and press negative one, and it will be copied. And for this one as well, I just repeat the same things. All right, so now we have the body. How can we make the head? The head is pretty simple. Press one, go to the front view, and actually inside Blender, we have this model. We have the monkey head model. Press shift A, go to mesh, choose monkey, and now it has finished. But you, unfortunately, because we just move the cursor to the hand side, so I have to delete that one and move this cursor to back to the center point. How can we do that? Press Shift C, move the cursor back to the center point, and press Shift A again to create the monkey head. Now it's pretty much finished. Move this one up. We have the monkey head. Adjust the positions. But for now, if we switch to the shading mode. It looks so sharp, so we can do some modification for that. So first thing, for this one, probably this one requires more faces. Let's press Ctrl-1 to add a subdivision modifier right here for this model, so it looks better. And also, for this part, we can just right-click and choose Shade Auto Smooth, and it will smooth the edge. For this one, we can also do that. Shade auto smooth and it will look better. For the hand, it's up to you. You can choose and go to edit mode, select all the edge, and press Ctrl B to give this one kind of bevel corner and press tab to jump out. For the other part, I just copy and it will be easier. Delete this one, press Shift D again and type in negative one. Now it's pretty much finished. This is our monkey head. And also for sure we can add on some kind of decoration for this one. For example, like a backpack. Let's press Shift A, create a cube, and press S and Y, scale down. Press S and X, narrow down. Move back, move up. And we have to add on more detail. So that, let's go to edit mode, press tab, 
Ctrl R, click and move this one up. And I'd like to extrusion a face right here. So let's go to face mode and press E for extrusions. And right now I'd like to cut one more cut in the middle. Press Ctrl R in the middle and I don't want to move them. Press ESC to leave this point, this line right here. Press 1 and click the negative Y icon and you can go back, go to the negative side. So let's go to the vertex mode and press Z for wireframe and choosing this one and move this one down. Now let's go back to solid mode. Take a look of this one. It looks okay. And also I'd like to give this one some bevel round corner. So let's go to tab, go to edge, press L, select all of them, Ctrl B. It's pretty much finished. And we can make a buckle right here. So how can we do that? Select these faces. And press Shift S, move our cursor to select it. And then press Shift A to create probably a UV sphere. It's too large, so let's small ruler. Scale down this one. And also, I want to rotate this one into 90 degree in X direction. RX 90. And again, scale down in Y directions. So let's press S and Y, scale down this one, move this one up, it's pretty much finished. Press Tab, I think our backpack has finished. So this is our monkey model. For sure we can add on more detail, but I will leave that part next time. And for the button, it's up to you. You can just add a, a base for this model in a very easy way. Press Shift, you can press Shift C, Shift C, move the cursor back. Shift A to create a cylinder right here. Scale down. Move on. Move down. Press S and Z again to enlarge. To extend this tube. And then redo that. Shift A, mesh, cylinder. And scale down in Z directions. Flatten this cylinder. And scale up a little bit. Move this one down. It's pretty much finished. Let's go to tab, go to edge selection, hold on your shift auto key, select the ring, control B to, to have the bevel. But for now it was distorted because we haven't applied the transform. So let's redo that. Control Z, tab, and we have to go using control A, select the cylinder and apply all transform. Now it's supposed to work. Go to tab, edit mode, select the ring edge. Ctrl B and you can increase more sections so it will be smoother. Now it looks fine. Press tab, jump out of the object, select both of them, press your right mouse key, choose shade auto smooth, choose tab, vertex, make sure you select all of the vertex and move this one up. Okay, so now it's pretty much finished. Let's delete the reference image. That's the result about our monkey head. So thank you for watching. And next time we can keep move, adding more details on this monkey and then finish the human figure models. Or, and once we finish all the model, including the building, tree, monkey, and some bird, or even some cat, and some trance, we can start to apply material for our model. So thank you for watching, see you next time.